Welcome to the spoken tutorial on SELECT STATEMENT. In this tutorial, we will learn about basic SELECT statement, SELECT with WHERE clause, SELECT with relational operators, SELECT with logical operators, alias for column names. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 14.04 operating system, PostgreSQL 9.3.x and pgadmin 1.18. To follow this tutorial, you should have basic understanding of database and tables. For more details, refer to the RDBMS PostgreSQL series on this website. Let us open pgadmin. Right click on the students table and select view data and then view all rows. We can see the students table with the four records that we inserted earlier. I will show how to insert records in the edit data window. Click on the save icon on the top left of the toolbar to save the changes. We can insert records either in the edit data window or through the insert statement. Close this window. I will insert some more records for demonstration purpose. I will open the SQL editor window and type the insert statement shown here. Note that I have entered null value in the date of birth column for student ID S012. In PostgreSQL, the term null is used to represent a missing value or an unknown value. The field with a null value represents no value. Exhibit this query. Retrieve the data from the table to see the output. So far, we have inserted 14 records. A null value field appears to be blank. Null is not the same as the zero value or space value. It implies that a database field value has not been stored. Pass the tutorial and do this assignment. Insert 10 records into the students table. Next, we will see about how to use SELECT statement with many classes. The SELECT statement retrieves data from a database. The data is returned in rows and columns format, that is, in a tabular format. It has many classes that we can combine to form a powerful query. The basic syntax of the SELECT statement is SELECT COLUMN NAMES FROM TABLE NAME Now, let us learn to write queries using SELECT statements. Switch back to the PG Admin main screen. Right click on the students node and select SCRIPTS and then click on SELECT SCRIPT. This is a simple SELECT statement which retrieves data from the students table. You can specify the column names as shown here or use asterisks to select all the columns. I want the details of certain columns only. So, type the code as shown here with specific column names. The SQL statement will display student ID, student name, city, CGPA columns from the students table. Now, let us execute the query to see the output. The expected rows and columns are displayed. Let's move ahead. Select with WHERE clause is used to filter the rows which match the criteria that is specified and to limit the number of rows. The syntax of this statement is select column names from table name WHERE condition. Records that satisfy the specified condition will be displayed on executing this statement. Let's switch back to the PG Admin SQL Editor. Type select student ID, student name, city, CGPA from students where city equal to Mumbai. Now execute this query. It will retrieve the rows from the students table and display students from Mumbai city. Where is followed by a condition that returns either true or false. Here, city is the column name 
and Mumbai is the value to filter. Now, let us change the city value to Bangalore and execute the query. We can see that there are no records retrieved. This is because the condition returns false on execution, which means there are no records that match with the given condition. Next, we will see how to use comparison or relational operators in the WHERE class. Relational operators listed here can also be used within the WHERE class. Switch back to the PG Admin SQL Editor. Type select student ID, student name, city, CGPA from students where CGPA greater than 8.5. Execute the query. The output shows details of students who have CGPA greater than 8.5. Let us type another query to retrieve the student details who are not from Mumbai city. Note the NOT equal to operator. It is symbolized by an open and close angular brackets. Execute the query. Likewise, we can use relational operators to filter data depending upon our requirement. Next, let us learn how to use arithmetic operators in the SELECT statements. When we need to do calculations, within SQL statements, we can use arithmetic expressions. Arithmetic expressions contain column names, arithmetic operators and numeric values. Arithmetic operators will however not work for character data type columns. Let us do a simple arithmetic calculation using some operators. Clear the screen. Type select 2 plus 15 plus 98 plus 45. Execute to see the output. Type Select 230 divided by 5. Again execute the query to see the output. Let us see how to use arithmetic operators with a column of the table. We have a column called CGPA with numeric data type. CGPA stands for cumulative grade point average. Let us calculate the percentage from CGPA score. Switch back to the SQL editor window. Type the query as shown here. What we want to do is multiply the CGPA with 9.5 to get the actual percentage. Here we are using the multiplication operator asterisk to calculate the percentage. Let us execute the query now. Percentage is calculated and displayed in a new column as shown here. But there is no specific column name for this column. This percentage data is not stored in the database. It only displays the calculation. Now, I want to give a name to this column so that it is more meaningful. For that, we can use an alias name. An alias is used to rename a column temporarily. It appears as a heading in the output of the query. Use column alias if the original column name is not meaningful or when there is a column name conflict. Here add the text as percentage after the calculation column. Execute the query to see the output. We can also specify in capital letters as percentage within double quotes. Please note column names which are mixed case or upper case have to be within double quotes in PostgreSQL. Exhibit the query. We can see the column name has changed to percentage in capital letters. Next, we will see how to use logical operators within the select statement. Logical operators are used where more than one conditions need to be checked. Or, using logical operators, we can combine two or more conditions. The most commonly used logical operators are and this joins two or more conditions and returns result only when all the conditions are true or this joins two or more conditions and returns result when at least one of the condition is true. Not this operator results in the reverse of a condition. Switch back to the PG admin interface. Let us see few examples 
for logical operators. Type the code as shown. Here we are checking for two conditions that is students who are from Pune City and whose gender is female. It will return the output when both the conditions are true. Notice how the unlogical operator is returned. Execute the query to see the output. Next, let us change the AND to OR logical operator and see the output. The records are retrieved if any one of the condition is true. That is, either the student is from Pune city or gender is female. This query will display students who are not from Mumbai or Chennai. Here we have used the NOT and AND operators together. Execute the query and see the output. With this, we come to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we have learnt about basic select statement, select with WHERE clause, select with relational operators, select with logical operators and alias for column names. As an assignment, write a select statement to display all columns from students table for the student name RAM. Display student ID, student name, date of birth of students whose CGPA is greater than 8 and less than 9.5. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. Please post your time queries in this forum. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NMA ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at this link. This is Nirmala Venkat from IIT Bombay signing off. Thanks for watching.